Our cover story tonight is about a raging controversy. Is China pushing India out of Iran? A story that we had first reported on this show. How China's $400 billion deal with Iran might pose a challenge for India's strategic investments. On Monday, we told you about the pact, the deal between Beijing and Tehran. They had to sign it, but some details have leaked. Iran gets Chinese investments for 25 years and China gets cheap Iranian oil for the same period of time. We asked where this deal left India in general and the Chabahar port in particular. Within hours, it emerged that Iran was dropping India from the Chabahar rail project, the Chabahar Zahidan line, something that will connect the Chabahar port to Afghanistan. Now, this was part of a trilateral agreement between India, Iran and Afghanistan. A report claimed that Iran has decided to ditch India and complete the project on its own. We reported that too. The reason? Iran was citing funding delays. The timing was critical. Was Iran dumping India for China? On Wednesday, the government of India refuted all these reports. Sources told Vion that India and Iran, quote-unquote, remain committed to the Chabahar Zahidan railway project and that India is very much in the game, but progress was slow due to the current political environment. Then came a report from Al Jazeera and another twist in the tale. This report said that India was never really part of the railway project, so there's no question of it being dropped. What's the source of this claim? A man called Farhad Montasar, an Iranian official with Iran's Ports and Maritime Organization. Let me tell you what he said. The story that India has been dropped is totally false because Iran was not, has not inked any deal with India regarding the Chabahar Zahidan railway project. So who is telling the truth? Well, I'll let you decide. Allow me to show you some documents. On your screen is a press release. This is from the year 2016. It's a list of agreements signed during the visit of Prime Minister Modi to Iran. Right at the bottom, there's mention of an MOU. An MOU is a memorandum of understanding, a sort of an agreement. This one was signed between ERCON, that's India's state-owned transport infrastructure company, and Iran's CDTIC, Construction and Development of Transportation Infrastructure Company. What is this memorandum about? The description, if you read it, is pretty clear. The Indian side was to provide requisite services for construction of the Chabahar Zahidan railway line. Around $1.6 billion was committed as financing. A statement from India's Ministry of External Affairs confirmed today this MOU was indeed signed. So India was supposed to be part of this project. It's been four years. Iran is yet to take things forward. Listen to this. IRCON has completed the site inspection and review of the feasibility report. Detailed discussions were thereafter held on other relevant aspects of the project, which had to take into account the financial challenges that Iran was facing. In December 2019, these issues were reviewed in detail at the 19th India-Iran Joint Commission meeting, which was held in Tehran. The Iranian side was to nominate an authorized entity to finalize outstanding technical and financial issues. And this is still awaited. Iran is yet to respond. No word yet on whether India is still on board, from Tehran at least. Why is this so important? Because Chabahar is very important to India. It's an essential component of India's Central Asian strategy. Let me explain. Number one, the port opened a new strategic transit route between India, Iran and Afghanistan. A route that bypassed Pakistan because Islamabad had blocked Indian shipments. Now, India plans to invest $500 million into this project because its value goes way beyond being a trade link with Afghanistan. It has immense strategic value. So what's the problem? The point of contention right now is a railway line from Chabahar to Zahidan, a town close to the Afghanistan border. The same line is supposed to be later extended to Zaranj in Afghanistan. Now, Chabahar is supposed to be India's gateway to Eurasia. Last year's estimates say that once Chabahar is operationalized, India's trade with Eurasia could touch $170 billion. 
There are cost benefits too. A report from 2018 gives some insights. The Chabahar route could lead to a 60% reduction in shipment costs and a 50% reduction in shipment time from India to Central Asia. The problem is, or so critics say, that India has not been consistent with its funding for Chabahar. In 2019, the funds allocated for the port dropped from 150 crores, that's almost $2 billion, to 45 crores, that's $600 million. But India had hiked this allocation to 100 crores in this year's budget. So India was budgeting for Chabahar. Almost $1.5 billion was set aside for Chabahar. Now, all of this is on the line. China wants to make a major entry into Iran. The doors were opened by America, we have to say, with its sanctions. Beijing is planning a $400 billion investment, one that will ensure that Chinese companies dominate the Iranian economy. Reports say nearly 100 projects have been identified for Chinese investment in Iran. With this strategic accord, China will get the first dibs in Iran and Indian investments could well be the casualty. Here's another, another example. Reports say India will not participate in the development of the Farzad B gas field. A gas field that was discovered by India's ONGC about 10 years ago. It is said to have gas reserves of 2.7 trillion cubic feet. ONGC wanted exploration and production rights. Now Iran wants to go solo on this project too. The Ministry of External Affairs today said that Tehran would like to involve India at a later stage.